All right, mate. Uh, let's discuss now. Sorry for late reply, but um, ACH and ADX. So uh, see see this large monthly red candle. I'm not the biggest fan um, at this point. Now, like when it when when this drops like that, you usually it, it, it's more likely. Now, it, of course, there's um, exceptions to the rule, but it, it's it's more likely to have a small monthly candle down here. Uh, I know there's 21 days left, but it might just need a consolidation month, you know, and then, and then maybe it could bark back up or something afterwards like that. Um, so I don't really like to uh, to buy this down here. Um, it is, you know, it is coiling. There's no question about it. And a lot of these coins have been barting back up. So, you know, maybe I'm wrong and there could be some upside on this because, you know, these bases have been uh, playing out pretty well to the upside. Uh, so, I do actually uh, like this setup a little bit, I have to say, though. You know, um, as much as I said, you know, it can be a small two-week candle um, or a small monthly candle. You know, there, there is the chance here on a new three-day that this flips green and pops up higher and, and tests. Well, you can see where resistance is. You see this pivot right up here. You know, price might want to come back up to test this. Or even call, um, form a higher low, so it, it's red here on the three day. You know, there's a day. Well, we there's probably two days left to be fair. Um, getting a bit of a dip, but you can see, you know, it's it's coiling. It is coiling, and there might be some upside um, first before, and like it, it, it might do something like this, and then then go a bit lower, and and probably take out these lows. I would suggest. So I, I don't see any reason to be buying this right now unless this three day is starting to flip green again. Otherwise, you know, th this is, you know, we're having a red three day candle and you probably wait, need to wait until a new three day candle before getting long on it. First target is, is up and around the top end of this wick. So ADX here, um, again, it's, you know, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit catching a knife. Um, a lot of times, Right, if this was to be a true reversal, uh, this monthly candle here, you, you know, you might it might form an inside bar here, but the problem is there's two weeks left, three weeks left, um, and 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 the real move can often come on the next month, right? If if it's a real reversal, and you can see that there's uh, well, I was going to say a lot of liquidity down below, but this setup here it, it usually likes to form some sort of a uh this if this if this forms the inside bar it loves to pierce down below this candle right here that that is your safe buy if we get that on a new month so if i just put um put this here and flip to the daily you know you can kind of see down there if it, if it rolls over at some point back down to here this would be your your safe buy area to form a higher low and then get a real bounce because what is the chances of i mean this just doing a doing a v-shaped recovery it's probably not that likely price usually likes to come back down at some point and test these lows so what it's saying is well you need to be careful up here when you're buying you need to have a strategy you need to use your stops you need to uh you know maybe trade well wait again and trade the new three-day candle for example um at this point you can see exactly what is happening here you know price bounced right up into resistance right up on here so it's not going to be that easy to break this major resistance and it's not just you know it, it's the opening price as well so it's we've now we've broke down below the opening price that's um well it it, it can be bullish or bearish actually because sometimes this could be a deviation and you know if this can reclaim it we, we could do something like that but um, until it's proven, you know, it's going to be hard to get through this level again. It's going to be extremely important. But at this point, again, you know, it's red on a three-day. We're getting a pullback after having three green days in a row, three green candles in a row, sorry, uh, into resistance. We're getting a bit of a dip. So, again, I don't see any reason to be trading this until a new three-day candle and see if we can get continuation.